speeding, Facebook is speeding, and welcome to the newest episode of Morning Mindset number four. And this is something, a little treat that we've been doing for you guys live every Friday for the last five Fridays. Topic of today, beware of fakes. On the internet here recently, there was a thread going on about someone who broke their cat tourniquet. And then someone pointed out to them that the cat tourniquet that they broke was not from the manufacturer, North American Rescue, that it was probably a Chinese ripoff. And how do you know the difference? Well, the Chinese ripoffs look very, very similar to the real thing. Almost identical. There are very slight variances. But the big thing is, if the manufacturer's suggested retail is $33.95, $35.95, and you find it on Amazon for $15, bucks, guess what? That's not an original. There's no way that a manufacturer could MSRP something for $35, bucks and you find it on Amazon for $15, and it's the same thing. So you say, well, big deal, Paul. And a lot of you guys out there, you probably go bargain shopping for everything on Amazon. You find out that you need an X or a Y or a Z, and you're like, oh, man, I bet I could find a good deal on Amazon for that. And so what do you do? You go to Amazon, and you buy something like a cat tourniquet. You have no idea. It looks the same to you, and you're like, ah, whatever. It's good. Well, it's good if it's not something that's going to save your life. If you're buying a tourniquet, an object which will potentially save your life or the life of someone else, do you really want to go as super cheap as humanly possible? Let's say that this genuine North American Rescue cat tourniquet is 35 bucks, but you can find a Chinese clone ripoff for 15 on Amazon. So you spend the 15. Is the person's life that you may potentially be saving worth 20 bucks? If you were bleeding to death and I said, hey, Give me 20 bucks and I'll stop you from bleeding to death. You'd be like, oh, no, no. 20 bucks, way too much. I cannot I give you $20 to save my life. Are you kidding me, folks? It's one thing if you're going to buy an object and just look at it, show people, put it on display. It's another thing if you're going to buy an object and actually use it in the field. Now, while I'm on the topic of North American Rescue Tourniquets, I've been using these for years and years and years, probably six, seven years or so, eight years maybe, probably eight years at least. Uh, I've been using the North American Rescue Cat Tourniquets. Uh, I know people that are alive today because cat tourniquets were put on their blown up limbs and they didn't die, okay? So these do work. There's, some, there's a little bit of misconception out there that, that North American Rescue did the bright orange tourniquets as trainers. No, that is not the case. They did blue ones as trainers. You're like, well, how do you know, Paul, Mr. Smart Guy? Well, because North American Rescue wrote, for training purposes only on the blue ones. Uh, all you military guys, all you vets, what do you know? Well, you know that the military uses blue as the designated color for inert or trainer or what have you, which is the reason why... North American Rescue made their training tourniquets blue. See that? Now this one is a little bit ragged out. Actually, the back piece right here broke, and you're like, ah, see, that broke, man. That proves that they're crap. Brothers, I've been using this for going on, I'm going to say at least six years I've had this in the training box. And it's been through dozens of classes, dozens, maybe even hundreds of students have used this, and during the last class we had, this one piece of plastic broke. Uh, I, I think hundreds of students, dozens of classes for one trainer, pretty good record. Now, it's not just North American Rescue that's getting ripped off. Rats, the rats tourniquets are being ripped off by the Chinese as well. Helpful hint, if you find a, quote, rats tourniquet on Amazon or online for five or six bucks, it's a piece of crap. It's a Chinese ripoff. Don't buy it. Now, when it comes to, to ripoffs and fakes, you're like, well, what's the big deal? I mean, I, I found, I found a, a, an ACOG at a gun show for $247. Yeah, you did. You found an ACOG at a gun show for $247.
and you're like, yeah, I put it on my rifle and I look through it and I even zeroed it and no problem. Well, the thing with fakes is fakes seem fine when you're just looking at them or touching them or they, they're fine until you actually do something real with them until you take them to the field, until you apply hard use, until you need to rely upon them to save your life or what have you. That is when the fakes will fail. Now, when it comes to humans, there are humans out there that offer instruction. There are humans that give advice. There are humans that portray themselves or appear when everything is nice and calm and sedate and the lights are bright. They seem very logical, very intelligent, they seem very skilled. It's not until they have to go to the field, until hard use is applied, until they actually have to put that information or that training on the line that the fallacy or the fake appears. So think about that as you progress throughout your weekend. You're going to get essentially what you're paying for. Now, can you go to Amazon and maybe save five bucks, maybe save 10 bucks, what have you on a certain item? Sure. But if there's a huge, like 50%, even 100% price difference in an object, the reason it's so cheap is probably because it's a fake. If you're signing up for a training school and you're able to go for a two day class for $99, you're like, yeah, man, I'm going to this training school, two days, 99 bucks. And that school over there is 450 for two days, so I'll take the one for 99 You can do what you want. But uh, when it comes to reality and value, you might want to do your best to weed out the fakes. All right, kids, this is your host, Professor Paul Markle, thanking you for joining me for another edition of Morning Mindset. I'm going to drink my coffee. But before I let you go, Jared would be very angry with me. Jared's not in the studio today. But he would be very angry with me if I didn't give you a homework assignment. Your homework assignment is very simple. Go to studentofthegun.com. And if you haven't done it already, click the bright orange button that says seven training tips that could save your life. What you're going to do is you're going to sign up for the newsletter. It costs you nothing but your first name and your email address. And you get seven videos, training videos, free for nothing because we like you. And that basically is your first step into all things student of the gun. There you go. Zach, are we good? I think we're good. Zach Let's says we're go. good. All right, bye Periscope. All right. Periscope bye. is off. How do, I, how do I turn it off? I don't know. I just turned off the phone. Mm. And bye Facebook. Bye, Thanks Facebook. for joining us.